Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews of Tech Channel, and this is day three of the home networking makeover. If you missed the videos for day one and day two, I'll put the links up here. Day one was boosting the internet speed. Day two was installing a router to not only improve the performance of all the wireless end devices that we have here in the house, but to also get things ready for wireless AC, a much faster standard that will hopefully be able to keep up with the wireless speed we'll be getting next year when Google rolls out their Google Fiber gigabit internet service here in Austin. And today is basically a follow-up on that aspect of the network, testing out the AC performance. Don't have any native AC devices, so I bought a dongle to plug into my laptop computer to test out the wireless AC. Now I've already installed this and tested it out in N mode at the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Because I was noticing when I put the new router in and I was expecting my numbers to jump on this um, network speed test called LAN speed test, they basically didn't change much and I was kind of disappointed. So I plugged this in thinking that maybe the issue was more the internal wireless N chip that's here in the laptop. And sure enough, when I plugged this in, set it up on the 2.4 gigahertz network, then the numbers did jump nicely. But I'm gonna try it out with the AC mode today and I'm hoping to see the numbers jump tremendously. So this little guy is the focus of this day three video. This is an ASUS adapter. It's basically the companion piece for the router. The router is the RT-AC66U. This is the USB-AC53. It doesn't have quite the, the top speed of the router, but um, it's understandable because this is just a USB 2 device, and so I think you need to get up to USB 3 if you're really going to start transmitting data that fast. All right, I'll show you what comes in the box, and if you'd like to check this out online, I'll put a link down below. You can check out the specs on it, also the router that I'm using in this home network makeover. So you have your usual quick start setup guide. They give you a disk with the driver and the utility on it. If you like, you can install just the driver if you'd like to continue to use the Windows utility for running wireless. Sometimes the utilities are a little weird on the ones that come with the different adapters. And then the VIP member warranty information. I guess I'm a VIP member for spending $50 for this. Now, in terms of the hardware that you get, here's the actual device. It's kind of got that diamond pattern built into the front, which is kind of pretty on the router too. And again, it's USB 2.0. They include this fairly standard piece here that plug into your USB port, you take the adapter, you plug it in here, and then you can set it wherever you're going to get the best signal to take full advantage of that. But what's even more clever, and I've never seen this before, maybe I just don't get out much, is this little piece, or it's a really good idea, this is a short USB cable and it's got a little piece you hook onto it that allows it to hang on your monitor or on the screen of the notebook so it gets the adapter up as high as possible. So you take the adapter and plug it in and then you just sort of drape it, hook it onto the back of the screen or the monitor. You can put it up top, you can put it on sideways, wherever it's convenient. Really good thinking. As for the technology in this guy, it has two antennas, two patch antennas that use this PIFA technology, which is the same type of antenna they have in cell phones. It's supposed to have low SAR rating, but a very high distance capability. And I think both of the antennas can be active at the same time, each grabbing a channel of data, and that's how they can pull it into your system so fast. But let's let the numbers speak for themselves. I'll show you brief clips here of my previous tests using this LAN speed test. I've got that installed here and I've got the LAN speed test uh, server software running on a computer that's connected via cable directly to the router. So there should be no other source of interference. Everything should come right down to the wireless speed between the router, about 60 feet from here. Got several walls in between and this device plugged into my laptop. So I'll show you those old numbers and then I'll run a test with this new one. We'll see what it looks like. The five gigahertz frequency taking advantage of the latest 802.11ac standard. Got the router installed. Gonna try a test out here on the 2.4 gigahertz network with the regular adapter that's built into the laptop. So this is the last run that I did. Definitely an improvement now, and this is with uh, several people online. I know we've got one Netflix streaming, I think some YouTube, and somebody else playing games. So let me run it again, see if I can duplicate this now. Whoa, that was a high one. There's definitely a lot more throughput 
than there is with the internal wireless N adapter in the laptop. And I think that's attributable to the, the multi-antenna, multi-stream capability of this adapter piece that I've got plugged in. Since I now have access to the five gigahertz network and I've looked and there's nobody in my neighborhood using that. So it's completely wide open. So I connected with the adapter here to the five gigahertz uh, network of the router, the new Asus router. Take a look at these numbers that nobody else on the network now. I just ran a test. You can see some pretty impressive numbers there. Let me run another one. Yeah, pretty consistent. One more time. So, not bad from 60 feet and several walls away. I'm gonna take the laptop over into the same room as the router now. That's where most of those big numbers you see in the online tests by the big companies show up. So I'm gonna test it from that distance and see what it shows. Got it in the windowsill here, just about six, seven feet away from the router. Let's see what we get now in a test. Not any different. Hmm. Okay, I think I might know why the numbers didn't speed up. I had turned on the quality of service feature of the routers where it sorts things out and doesn't let any one particular device get too much bandwidth. Well, I've turned that back off and now let's see, there should be no limiter on this. Well, that sped writing up by quite a bit. Well, I finally got some good numbers, but what it took was plugging in the Ethernet cable and running the test directly from Ethernet cable to the router. For that, I see great results. But um, with several different ways of doing the Wi-Fi, I haven't been able to improve it much. I've disabled the antivirus. I've installed the, the LAN test on another laptop, a newer one, and run that wirelessly. Still having the same kind of numbers come in. Now I finally did install the Asus Utility for the USB adapter and I see up in the top right corner there where it says speed 866.5 megabit per second and I've noticed people mentioning that in their reviews that that's the speed that they were connected at and I think they're just going by what this thing said which I mean they, uh, they'll tell you anything right you need to actually run a test and see so here I am back on the Wi-Fi I'm on the 5 gigahertz frequency I'm gonna run a test there are my numbers again my very nice numbers hooked up with a gigabit Ethernet cable now let's try it with supposedly gigabit Wi-Fi yeah Pretty consistent. One other thing I wanted to test was I was going to bump the transmit power up all the way. You can see it here at the bottom. Uh, it's By default it's at 80 milliwatts. I've put it up to 200 which is the maximum they'll let you. I'm now going to go see how far I can go down the street and still stay on my own Wi-Fi. Standing out in front of the garage door here normally when I get to this spot I'm down to one dot of uh, service. I'm at two currently. I'm going to run the speed test again now. 66 and 162. All I see is a reflection of the sky here. Okay, 66 and 162. This is from another 50 feet away across the street. 41 and 140. All right, I've got to be, oh good, 100, 120 feet away now. Let's see. Boy, still pulling pretty good. I'm 200 to 250 feet away now. Still able to get reasonable throughput on it. Well, that was rather inconclusive. Uh, without another AC router, without another AC USB adapter to compare, I don't know for sure the numbers aren't as high as I was expecting them to be, running them um, in the 5 gigahertz in the AC mode. They are better than they were in N. Uh, you saw when I bumped up the power of the router, the range was really incredible. I was down past that house, past their backyard, past their fence, and I was still able to get a reasonable connection speed here. The issue that we were having here with our regular wireless N 2.4 gigahertz network with dropouts and stuttering and buffering, all of that seems to have gone away since I've installed it. So it's done all those things, taking care of those issues, has the capability, I think, shown by the distance that I could still get a connection of 200 to 250 feet away. That if you have a big house, you have dead spots in your Wi-Fi, this router could be a good choice for fixing that. The question is, 
Do you need to spend $180 to buy this router to incorporate the AC standard or are you better off spending half of that and getting just a very good N router? Sorry, I can't answer that. I do have my eye in the future on the Asus ZenBook Infinity as an upgrade to this rather old laptop and it does come with native AC wireless support in it so I could compare when I have that but anyway that's some time off. I'm going to keep the components that I have because it's fixed our problem and even this guy because it lets me get on the 5 gigahertz network with the laptop over here at quite a distance from the router and everybody else is fighting over the 2.4 all the other devices in the house and the neighbors networks 5 gigahertz is completely empty for the moment so I'm going to take advantage of that and have sort of my own little private connection to the router at 5 gigahertz here and I shouldn't have any interference from anyone else doing whatever they're doing. So I don't have a definitive answer for you about whether it's worth the cost of these components to upgrade your network exactly in this way. It definitely will improve things but it's really only worth the cost, the fairly substantial cost, if this, net, this setup will let you transition into the AC standard as that becomes the norm over the next couple years. In other words, you should be able to use this router and still get really good results even when you've got a new TV and a Xbox One and everything that's running on the AC network. You should be able to see the full advantage of that and not find out that, oh, it turns out it was really only running at the third of what it could have been running at. So I can't answer that for you. I searched online for other people with this uh, setup who've also run the LAN speed test, which is supposed to be the best way to get an accurate assessment of your speed when you run the two components, one running as a server, one as a client. The data that's transferred is stored in memory. You don't have to worry about hard drive. And even in any case, the drive in this is a Vertex 3 solid state drive. I tried this test on my daughter's laptop, which is just a year old, has a mechanical uh, hard drive, but it's got a Core i3 processor in it. And just about the same results. So if anybody out there has either or both of these components, please put comments down below. Let us know what your speed, your subjective speed estimate is of things. And also, if you run some kind of a speed test to give some objective numbers, what does it show? I think just not many people have made the upgrade to the 802.11 AC standard yet, so there's not much data to work with. So if you have anything you can contribute, we would appreciate it. Please comment down below. Or whether it's better to let things percolate for a couple more years, work out the bugs, improve the efficiency, and maybe save your money till then.